There's Darth Vader playing the drum set. Pretty cool, right? Anywho, I'm going to show you guys the basement setup as of the... What's today's date? The 27th of August, 2022. So let me get the guitars and do them first. First off, this is a really cool acoustic guitar made by Fender. It's an all mahogany guitar strung with um, Ernie Ball um, 8 through th 30 something. I'm not sure how low, but uh, these this guitar is uh, strung with very light strings and it does well with them and uh, sounds great. <laughs> hit it a little less hard. So there's that guitar. And then the other guitar I have right now is my Squire Rock Band. You can see the Rock Band logo on there and a Skunk Stripe. This is the Starcaster and uh, it's got the big 70s headstock regular tuners um haven't changed the strings on this in a while so that's due and uh i just did the action on it so if you can get in there and see it's kind of low kind of kind of low i like my guitars and basses set up low but i can always raise them so if you can't go low enough then you know, it's hard to play. Anywho, that's the guitar, the other guitar. And uh, let's go ahead and look at the two basses that I currently own. There is my six string Ibanez SR306E. E standing for, I don't know, but I don't know what it stands for, but uh, has this three-way switch series pair and uh, single coil with a boot bass boost and just regular single coil. Could be. Uh, I wonder if one of the options is actually parallel. Not sure, but uh, it has a three-band preamp, no passive switch, which uh, I would want eventually. The pickup sound really good in this. It has row sound strings on it and uh, tune B to C. Sometimes I tune this low B string down to an A. Um, yeah, I just intonated it as well. It's a great guitar. Um, it's definitely a keeper. Oh, and uh, just get, getting a shot of the back as well as this little knot in the wood and the volute. Nice bass guitar. Anyway, now my let's let me show you the keeper bass guitar that I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of, if at all possible. This is the Fender Modern Player Telecaster bass in butterscotch with a maple fingerboard. And uh, the truss rod hasn't been adjusted on this. Doesn't really need to be adjusted. And uh, it's a really awesome bass. This is a little bit chonky, but it does well. And the main gripe I have with it is that these pull pieces are not aligned with the strings, especially the G string. But you can sort of see the E string a little bit out. I think the pickup is off center just a little bit. Comment down below if you think the pickup is a little off center and comment if you know what to do about that. I really don't want to drill more, more holes in this. There's the Telecaster headstock, the tuners, 
And this, what I think, was a uh, B stock model. Here's the skunk stripe. And it's still got the little don't trash sticker on the back. It's my only fender, and I love it. Anyway, time to show you the amps. And I guess there's one more bass guitar, but it's not officially ready. I've been working on it for like two years and uh, on and off. So let me show you that bass guitar. This is a, uh, what's the name of that company? Anyway, I'll just show it to you. It's sort of like a P-Bass, but with a Music Man humbucker, which I swapped out for one of the double jazz humbuckers I had laying around. I need to rewire it. I, re I really want to wire it up so that there's no volume control and it just goes straight to the output. Makes it simple. String tree is in the wrong spot. The nuts is uh, just crappy plastic. The fret job on it is not good. I re need to redo that. But uh, yeah, that's basically the base. And it's also, I also put a kick-ass bridge on it by hip shot, which came with one of my uh, jazz bass kits. I'll show you the uh, controls that came with that as well. This is a pretty nice control panel for jazz bass. It comes with the knobs, the orange drop, and a, a decent um, output jack. So these are good pots and good output jacks, good knobs. I might save that for a future bass if I want to upgrade that. And this is for the, the uh, Squire in red, the Affinity, that I modded a ton. Unfortunately, I had to sell that base, so it's no longer with me. And uh, I only got 50 bucks out of it, but hey, that's the way things go around here. And anyway, I have two straps here on top of my custom amp that I mentioned in the previous video, KX, KPB200. It's not KXB, but KPB, which is, I think, one of the previous generations before the KXB. Anyway, there's the uh, speaker. Also has, on the back, it has a speaker out for two speakers. It's got a fuse, and this is the loud one. It's pretty loud. It has a five band EQ as well as high shelf and low shelf, and uh, just a regular volume knob that goes all the way up to 10. The uh, PV amp that I showed in the last video only goes up to 13. It's overkill like Spinal Tap, although I've never seen that movie. I only thing I know is that he had an amp that goes up to 11. And finally, the gem of this gu guitar and bass collection. Here is my Music Man 100B painted eggshell white. Um, it's got a standby right here. I don't usually use that preamp and post amp for the line out, which I got my XLR plugged into. And it's got treble. Here's the mid range with the variable mid frequency, bass control, and then these five controls here are all for the mid range and lower frequencies. This is mainly a bass frequency. That's um, low mid-range, medium mid-range, high mids, and then basically treble. Um, has a volume knob. I usually leave it about, oh, um, 
10 o'clock or so. And then finally, I'll get over to the computers that I use. And uh, here is my Mac Pro. I got my headphones, the Corsair headphones plugged into it. I got TCL TV, Broku TV, as well as a basically a school monitor that has VGA and DVI. Works pretty well. Here's my Raspberry Pi. Here's my controller. This is my Behringer interface. If you want to get a decent interface, you should probably go with this, the uh, Focusrite Scarlet 2i2 second generation, but this this cuts it pr pretty well. This this does pretty well. Um, what else is there? I think that I've covered mostly everything. And uh, that's basically the collection as of... The 27th of August 2022. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.